Welcome back to the channel guys, it's another video and um, yeah it seems like Spark Point did get the bounce that we were looking for um, off the uh, off the support level uh, down here and um, if you did get in then you will be up roughly about, let's have a look, you would have been up about 128% currently about 80% if you did get in from the bottom over there guys so um, yeah spot point is performing just as I expected it to um, I took in some more positions over here and um, yeah the balance is looking really nice right now with spot point and uh, yeah it's definitely uh, one to watch guys um, you know obviously we do see this wick wicking up here and let's have a look yeah, but what I expect with this is just it's come up and it's gonna kind of correct just a little bit and and then you know another wave up hopefully, all right? Because the market doesn't go up in straight lines, all right? We don't want to see this go all the way up uh, just in one move, okay? So if, we, if we look at safe haven, okay, you can see all over here is climbing up slowly, climbing up slowly, and then when we got this breakout of this uh, triangle, you see these big impulses: one, two, three, all right. And I was seeing it coming and back down swiftly. So the price action is impulsive. All right, it was a big breakout. You didn't get the volume coming in, and that's what we're looking for when we're trying to make a quick buck. Do you know what I mean? But for the longer term perspective, we want to see this steady climb. All right, it's much more um, sustainable in regards to you know um, maintaining the price levels above that. All right, because when you see big impulses like that you do get big sell up so the, the faster it goes up the quicker it comes down um, kind of thing all right i mean well done if you did get it as well you know i did um, you know take profit over here like i said um it did pump a little bit more i managed to get another position in and i you know managed to take a little bit more profit uh, almost okay um woke up this morning we saw this sell off and uh, i did take actually a small loss on the final position all right but nothing major all right but losses do come with it and it's about knowing when to get out and when to stay in this could actually bounce and then carry on to the upside but i'm not banking on it all right i'm expecting it to come down we've got a support level over here and you know if it breaks that then we could be coming back down here but i would like to see a a higher low all right around this support level and that might be a good time for me to uh put a new position in but right now i'm uh, just keeping my capital safe and to be honest, I'm not risking huge amounts on uh, safe haven at the moment because obviously we've already seen it go up like like a 12, 1300% rise from the bottom. Um, so, you know, who knows how long this wave can continue. 15, 1600%. All right. So for me, it's not the safest one to be invested in uh, with full confidence. All right. But we can see, um, you know, especially we're in a bull run now, guys. So. You know we could possibly see this just continue up all right but for me i'll be waiting to see it kind of like break out of this level again uh if it does get a bounce it might just you know kind of flag around for a little bit and kind of do like what it did over here but um yeah i think it's safer just to wait and see especially with these huge lightsabers to the upside so yeah going back to spark point obviously um you can see that it's not just a huge lightsaber to the upside like that and then a full retracement of the lightsaber we can see that it's uh, more like an accumulative swing all right and what you can do is actually is you can use the accumulative swing index all right which is not really it just kind of shows you the pause action from like a line chart kind of perspective all right but um you can see it coming all the way down the bottom here and it's like you're ready for another swing to the upside. Doesn't necessarily mean it'll go all the way up, but it is kind of like just a mirror of this price action. All right. Um, obviously, if you see a big spike up, do you know what I mean? In a straight line like that, 
then it might not be sustainable long term all right but when we see it like gradually climbing like that it could mean that we've got a long way up to go all right and obviously we want to break this previous high and carry on to the moon and that would be nice for all of us all right guys so that's spot point another one that i'm actually looking at right now i say looking at well, i actually took a position yesterday um based on the fact that uh it does look like we are breaking out into potential price discovery zone and that's sxp swipe okay now let me just zoom out and show you what on the one day so this to me doesn't look like it's done a great deal um from this view all right but we could get we could be seeing uh let me just widen that we could be seeing a nice breakout to the upside here right, we've actually we've actually um crossed above the level the level of uncertainty all right which is over here okay and now we are in almost a price discovery but like obviously you can see this huge bar here but it's uh where's my tools okay i'm not with it this morning it's very early i've just had my breakfast and before i get a quick video out for you guys okay let's change that all right still quite thick actually let me uh bring that back a little bit right so you can see obviously we are breaking above this level now so we want to hold this level and then we could see it move swiftly to the upside or slowly so it's, it's not a low market cap coin this one all right the, the the market cap's currently around 200 million i believe okay so it's one that is uh obviously doing quite well and the thing with swipe is it's basically is some say that it's it's, it's going to rival coinbase or crypto.com okay it's basically because obviously you know when binance takes over company potentially we're looking to pump this coin all right so you got a 208 million dollar market cap the circulating supply uh, sorry the total supply is not that much right it's 300 million as opposed to some coins you know 2 billion 4 billion or whatever it's only 300 million all right circulating supply is 65 million okay um obviously because of the hype that's come come into this this crypto the market cap is way up i believe it's gone up about 500 percent already it's ranked number 58 all right now this is on Qcoin, but it's also available on Binance. So right, I'm using Qcoin at the moment. It's, it does say that it's got more volume on Binance, but it's just as good on Qcoin, if I'm being honest. All right, we've seen a price increase already of 567%. So take caution, but I do believe that this has got a lot more in it um, to, to the upside. All right, um, it's a potential long-term hold. It is a potential long-term hold, but it's also a potential pump and dump because you know um it is a uh, you know if it does get pumped on binance you know and, and we see see this like just make a huge move to the upside i mean a 200 million dollar market cap just to get 100 percent, you need to see the market cap double all right to 400 million and you know i could i could see this going to you know anywhere near to a billion market cap um so you know you're looking at like a nice move to the upside potentially all right but like i say if if we get that uh you know 100 percent, if we get that doubled then you know it's a good time to like take out half take out your initial investment and then leave that to carry on and see what Binance can do with it to be honest um it has got a lot of promise and uh, you know if it is going to really rival uh, the likes of coinbase or crypto.com then we could see the market cap really go into some some crazy uh, price zones if we look at the market cap of uh, crypto.com okay so that's currently three billion all right so that's something to consider bearing in mind crypto.com is ranked number 11 coin if you're not signed up to crypto.com by the way i do have a link in the description and you get you get 50 dollars for signing up and i would also get 50 dollars if you use my link and you can support the channel that way but um yeah, I, I'm signed up and, you know, I did it a long time ago, to be honest. And, you know, you can do card payments on there as well. And you can, you know, I've got a video on that 
um, which I'll, I may leave a, a card uh, so you can click on that. You can see that video of crypto.com if you want to. But, um, you know, I mean, obviously, it's not going to happen overnight with something like Swipe. And I do believe that, you know, crypto.com does do a lot more than Swipe. Um, the thing with Swipe is that it is kind of new and current. Um, and it is owned by Binance, all right? And it is quite low in market cap um, it's, a, it's actually quite a good time to buy just considering we see the breakout and uh, we see if you see this volume build up right that to me looks indicative of an impulse has come in all right look at that volume but bearing in mind we did see 500% over here but it's always good to zoom out and try and picture the long term the long term view on it all right it doesn't really look like it's done much yet so if this was to do like a market cycle, we could see a very large, very large move, accumulative move to the upside or even impulsive, you know. So yeah, that's definitely one to put on your radar. All right, it's not a low gap gem like I say, but it is a gem nevertheless. All right, guys. Yeah, that's it for this morning. It's just a quick video. I'm always trying to show you guys what I'm doing and what I'm investing in. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't want you to copy me. You know, I want you to use your own mind. You know, come up with your own strategy, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? I'm just here to help you and guide you, give you another outlook, another perspective on the market, you know, and be an extra pair of eyes for you guys because uh, it always helps when you work together. And um, a lot of you guys have been posting, you know, uh, low cap gems um, for me to check out. All right, and I appreciate that as well. There are a few that I've come across that I didn't know about before feel free to you know send those in the comments i'll take a look at them you know if i get time and uh, definitely give you my view on them what i think a lot of them that come through i've heard of them already but like i say there's some that i don't know and even some of them that i've heard of already it's always worth taking a second look because you can you can find a, a decent project that you, that you you know you feel's got uh, potential and then you you kind of like forget about some of them so yeah, some of those are reminders as well. So yeah, it's, it's definitely nice to have uh, you guys, you know, filling me in on those. All right, guys, quick uh, video for this morning. It is morning in my time zone in the UK. You know, it's eight, almost nine o'clock in the morning. All right, so I'm looking to see some new four-hour candles close in the next ten minutes. All right, and uh, we'll see where this takes us. Looks like we might get another. Four hour close above this level uh, in just 10 minutes all right so yeah that's looking good for a swipe sxp and i am like i say i want to see it hold it above this level and continue to the upside yeah if you haven't subscribed already please do like leave a comment down below and i'll see you again in the next one